Alright, so guys, in today's video, I do want to talk about the League One Player of the Month link investment. Same as yesterday, I want to talk about Fodder. Do you keep? Do you sell? Do you gamble? And obviously, is the casino SPC tomorrow confirmed? I want to talk about that as well, including a few methods on the side you still can be doing to squeeze a little bit more profit. Drop a like, do subscribe. And let's get in the video. For fast, cheap, and reliable coins, make sure you check u4gm.com and use code SF for 5% discount on all your orders. The link will be in the description down below. All right, so the content today on a Tuesday. Overall, nothing special, just one SPC you're gonna see in the background right now. The SPC we did get is the 80 plus times five upgrade SPC with 184 minimum required and an 82 team. Content, very disappointing Monday and Tuesday overall. I just not very good dates for content, a brand new evolution, a centre back Evo, and you get the following stats. You get a plus 20 passing, plus 20 dribbling. And the cards that did rise, by the way, Mendy is one of them that did very, very good. I think right now Mendy is all the way at back down at 147. However, he went all the way to 160,000 quid. You can see right here, one peak, and he went all the way to 160. So content was decent, a centre back evolution with plus 20 passing and plus 20 dribbling. So, content not very good. Let me quickly switch my screen because I do want to talk about one investment I think, in my opinion, is pretty low risk. What do we have on Thursday? Marquee matchup. So, there's one match in particular, Liverpool versus Chelsea. I do think investments, investments wise, you can be doing on the lower risk side. For example, Liverpool Gold Commons right now are between 650 to 700 coins. If you can pick these up, open bid around 400, 450, 500 coins max. I wouldn't mind it in the hype. They probably go all the way to 800. And if they do get required in the marquee matchups with two minimum player requirements, they probably can go above 1,000 coins. And next we do have Chelsea, the exact same thing. Chelsea players run right out a little bit cheaper. So if I do go to gold common, Chelsea around 550 to zero in the market, 600. You can snipe these around 600. The same exact thing with Chelsea players. If you can get 450, 500, 550 max, I do think there is potential, especially in the hype as people are going to start investing tomorrow and obviously on Thursday morning before marking matchups. So I do think in the hype, these at least go to around 750 to 800 coins. So that is the first investment in today's video. Low budget, medium budget, high budget, buy a few. And there's two options when to sell these investments. Option number one, you sell before content to be safe and get your guaranteed profit if they rise in the hype. Option number two, you sell 10 to 15 minutes after marking matchups is officially released. That is when people go to the SPC section, they complete marking matchups and cards tend to rise in price. So Chelsea versus Liverpool, I do think they can rise very, very good. So that would be the first investment. Try to aim gold commons, reason being gold rares, just have a lot of supply. Gold rares are very, very hard to rise. So gold commons, in my opinion, do rise a little bit better. So that would be the first investment in today's video now the next thing i do want to talk about you did see on my transfer list i did sell around i'm pretty sure it was 25 to 30 fodder cards now if i quickly go to fubin i told you in the video yesterday boys it's completely your choice if you want to take your guaranteed profit or if you want to sell your fodder right now to be safe for example 85s i initially told you to buy this between 4.9 to 5k right now 5.6 86s from 7.9 to around 9,000 coins 87s from 12.5 to 15k and 88 from around 17k to 20,000 coins this is completely your choice one person going to do i told you in the video yesterday i might sell a few in the hype for guaranteed profit and gamble the rest into content the icon is not confirmed but someone on twitter which is really really reliable had made a tweet and he said that we should be getting an icon spc 100 percent soon you can see in the background georgie foot i can confirm 100 percent the icon spc is coming to fc 25 and usually 19 percent of the time this guy is correct you can see he leaked sterling spc he leaked obviously harland spc 
and obviously FIFA 24, he was very, very good as well. So Georgie Foot basically confirmed Icon SPC. Do you take profit or do you gamble? That is completely your choice. Do not ask me what I'm doing. I told you what I'm doing, boys. I'm taking profit on a few cards and I will gamble the rest into content. So let's talk about some flips we did do during division rival rewards. Anyone with literally any balance, if you have 10k, 20k, 50k, you would have doubled your coins. Let's have a look at some flips we did do. Salah, obviously, I did it on my account and I posted it in the VIP Discord as well. 250 to 280 thousand coins mendy 115 to 125k saka 30 to 33 by the way saka went all the way to 36 so saka very very good profit bremer on pc 105 to 128 tonali on console 44 to 48 bremer obviously first sale window at 1k per card we have bremer on console 105 to 115 tonali again 41 to 48 Diani 73 to 80, Van der Ven 62 to 69, Rodrigo 130 to 144, Rudiger 164 to 180, Harlan on PC 220 to 247k, De Jong 85 to 100,000 coins on PC, Alvarez 34 to 40k, Davies 25 to 28, Frimpong 39 to 46, Musiala 78 to 85, and the list literally goes on and on and on. Chiesa 115 to 145. If I go to the Profit Channel people, all they did, copy and paste the exact investments I did, and you can see in the background, people made bank. For example, Vert, Musiala, Rodrigo, again, Foden, Kachawi, Gero, Akanji, Griezmann, etc. Let me quickly scroll up even more. Foden, Vert, Rodrigo, Kunde, Martinelli, etc. This is the vip discord if you boys do want to join all you have to do is copy and paste every single investment we post and we tell you exactly when to sell in the sell card channel for just 10 pound a month all you have to do have your discord notifications on when i make a post you buy the card and of course when i make a post again you do sell that specific card the link will be in the comment section down below instead of wasting money in the packs in the store 20 pound 100 pound 200 pound Trust me guys, for £10 a month you support me, you support your coin balance and obviously you support my business as well. Let's get back to the video and talk about a few methods you still can be doing on the side including different investments as well. Now the next thing I do want to talk about is Barcola Player of the Month SBC dropping soon. You can see in the background Dembele has already gone up in price earlier today. Dembele was all the way as you can see around 93,000 coins. He went all the way to, you can see right here. All the way to 105 now dropped back down do i think dembele is a good link investment with this spc coming soon yes 100 however would i buy dembele now no i wouldn't i would actually buy this card thursday morning after division rival rewards what happened last thursday with division rivals have a look you can see dembele was around all the way at 100 and 25,000 coins. I'm not going to be able to get this drop, but you can see 1 to 7, 10 o'clock around Division of Rival Rewards. He was all the way at 1 to 5. So from 1 to 5, Dembele went all the way to 140,000 coins. So, yes, I do think during Division Rival Rewards, Dembele is a card you need to be looking at potential link investments with Barcola. And there is a centre back from PSG. And that card is Marquinhos. Right now, he's actually up a little bit. Earlier today, he was all the way at 194. Right now, 206,000 coins after the leak. Do I still think there is potential? Yes, I do. But I wouldn't buy right now. I would buy around division rival rewards. You can get good snipes. And around, I'll probably say 185 to 190 should be okay for Marquinhos. If he doesn't drop low enough. Obviously, do not buy, do not overpay. But in the hype before Barcola SPC, I do still think potential with this card is there. Minimum of 215, 220, I think is possible. So make sure you track this card around Division Rival Rewards and hope we do see a small drop and then rebound as the hype with this Barcola SPC should be building up. So that is a few investments. Dembele, I think, is good after Division Rivals. Marquinhos, he does go out of packs on Friday, which I do think has potential unless we do see a centre-back SBC, this card should continue to rise. So that is two investments I do think with the Barcola SBC, you should be looking at Dembele and Rush Marquinhos. Now, the next thing I do want to talk about is trading with icons. Tomorrow, if we do see the icon SBC, you're going to see a lot of panic after content. People are going to panic if they have icons in their teams. For example, if someone has a Zola in their teams and they have no clue about the icon SBC, they check content, they see Icon SPC, they are quickly going to panic sell the Zola, and I do expect Icons too 
drop a little bit as people panic sell with the icon being released. So how can you make coins with this little panic selling that happens after content? For example, we take a player like Zola. Zola has been selling at 850,000 coins on console literally all day today you can see hourly today went all the way to 847 dropped out to 820 went all the way to around 817 and rebounded at 850 so around 850 is the price zola does sell really really consistent you can see in the background we have 825 850 right there a35 again a50 a20 a25 a30 a40 and 840 again so tomorrow our content after the icon is officially released look at the super super expensive meta cards for example zola if you see a massive drop 70 80 100k 150k drop i do think is a little bit too much but 60 to 100k drop is realistic make sure to quickly flip that card perez the exact same petite the same makalele lampard Chavi Alonso, we have Torres, 1.1 million coins. I do think if this card gets panic sold, personally, I will be looking to flip him. Just because, let me quickly show you. Yesterday, this card was all the way at 1.2 million coins. And I do think if this if this Torres drops to around 1.1, 1.05, in my opinion, is going to rebound. As people realize the pack weight on the Icon SBC is awful. So what they do, they go back on the market and they rebuy the card they sold when they panic sold so that is trading with icons and by the way go to market right here go to index 100 tomorrow after content you're going to see on the right side of your screen right here the most icons that have dropped in price for example bobby moore minus eight percent we have the american center mid minus seven percent we have carlos alberto minus five percent Post scrolls, minus 5%. Tomorrow after content, you're going to see minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. And do not be afraid to buy a few, as I do expect. Like every single year, after people realize the pack weight is really, really bad, they go back on the market and they re-buy their icons. So that is trading with icons. Make sure you check for bin and check index 100 and see which icons have dropped the most and the final thing i do want to talk about in today's video maybe a potential investment but most of it would be a lazy selling way to make really really nice and easy passive coins so it's trading with team of the week cards you can see in the background team of the weeks are literally selling instant at 11 thousand coins so what do you have to do i'm going to give you a filter right now have the exact filter in the background quality gold team of the week maximum price ten thousand two hundred and fifty click search and all you literally have to do throw a bid between 10 to 50 to ten thousand five hundred coins and literally just lazy list your cars what is lazy listing you are selling to lazy people that don't check the market and they buy your cards in the last one minute so this is honestly medium budget to high budget could be an investment as well if we do see a team of the week requirement in the icon casino they probably go 12k maybe even 13 thousand coins but the main point of this method is just lazy selling hourly you have 20 30 40 50 different team of the weeks selling at the same time you're going to generate easily around 5 to 10 thousand coins an hour 10 hours 50k one day you work out the profit you're going to make a lot of coins purely by lazy listing timid weeks you can have the filter in the background quality gold timid week maximum price 10,500 coins and literally throw a bid 10 to 50 10.5 and the price i would lazy list is between honestly around 11 to 50 to 11.5 you will get a lot of sales if you do want to squeeze more profit try to do around 11,750 should be a decent price so that is another method on the side for higher budget people if you have 300k 400k 500k just sitting there buy team of the weeks and just lazy list for example let me quickly show you how to do it we have this team of the week I just won him open bid 10,500 coins what do you have to do let me quickly show you you assign the card if I quickly go to my left and there we go 10,500 coins and all I'm doing is literally just listing my cards 11,500 coins the profit is not a lot but it does add up really really quickly as long as you have between 20 to 50 selling at the same time you're going to realize your coin balance is slowly going up every single hour so that is another method on the side trading with 
team of the week. And boys, I do think we have covered everything in today's video. We've talked about icon flipping tomorrow after content if we do see the icon casino SPC. We have talked about for that. If you do want to be safe, take profit before content. If you do want to gamble, hold into content. And obviously, Barcola links as well. I've talked about Dembele, I've talked about Marquinhos, Rush, and obviously, marquee matchups, investments, Chelsea, and Liverpool cards. I do think the gold comments have potential to be rising in price and obviously team of the week trading as well. Drop a like, do subscribe and I will see you boys tomorrow with hopefully the Icon SBC and more content as well.